to be able to use my split regal monogram font in design space first thing you need to do is type out your font uh, type out your letter in a third-party program such as shortcuts a lot that's what I'm using here and you can see the font displayed right here you can always zoom in and display them larger by moving this slider down here at the bottom of the font window. So you can either just type in a letter or select it here from the panel. I'm going to use the letter K and you see it brings it right here and of course you, if you're creating something out of vinyl from this you would want to make that larger. So I'm holding down the shift key and dragging that out Then the next thing that you would want to do is you want to right click and break this apart. You're going to see that what's happened is the compound path has been removed. So all you need to do is select the top portion, right click and merge, and then select the bottom portion, right click and merge. And you've got it back. It looks the same. But now what you can do is you can spread apart the top and the bottom. So just select either the top or the bottom and use the arrow keys, the up and down arrow keys to move, to separate them more. You definitely want to use the arrow keys because you don't want to shift over the top or the bottom to the left or the right. And this you would do if you want to have more room in the middle over here to type in a name or something. If you're using Cricut Design Space, once you have increased the gap between the top and bottom, you're going to need to save your file as an SVG format. So in Shortcuts a lot, you would choose File, Export. I'm just going to put that in a temp folder because I won't be using this and I'm going to call it my K Split Regal with an SVG extension. And if SVG isn't selected, in your formats then just choose it here from the drop down list it needs to be an SVG format and then you save it don't forget to click OK once this um, dialog box is displayed now you'll be able to go and put your file in design space in design space I'm going to need to upload the image an SVG file is a vector upload and I'm going to browse for my file, which I had put in my temp folder, and I called it ksplitregal. I'll open that. That looks fine. Just leave the name as it is, and I'm going to save image. Here it is now. And I'll check the checkbox and insert that. And it will show up on my screen. Once you have the image on your screen in Design Space, you can resize it either by dragging it out or by typing in the height and the, and the width in the edit panel. If you need to still increase this gap or whatever, whatever you want to do to adjust it, just ungroup the shape and now your top and bottom are separate and you can use your arrow keys to increase the gap or decrease the gap. Remember not to make the gap too wide because you don't want your letter to start to look too distorted. You see, if you drag it out this far, now it starts to look funny. So you need to be careful with that, that this still sort of flows up to about this point, it still looks good. So this is what you need to do to use the split regal monogram font in design space. In silhouette, First, need to choose some text or type a letter. So I'm going to choose the letter A. I've already got split regal monogram selected over here. So that's why it typed it in right away for me. And if I click away, then I can select the letter and click it to select. And then I'm going to also hold down the shift key to drag it out to keep it proportional. And I'm just going to drag it a little bit on the top as well and you could always if you like it wider you could always do that or narrower that's entirely up to you 
I'm going to click undo to put it back to the way it was. And same thing here. You need to right click, release the compound path. This looks a little bit scary. Then you choose everything again and ungroup. Then choose the top portion. Don't panic when you see all these nodes. Right click and make a compound path. Same thing with the bottom. Right click, cho you choose the bottom, right click and make a compound path. Now everything is okay. And you can select the top or the bottom and move them until you have enough space in between here to type what you want. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.